Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post a new video. Without so without any further ado, let's get started. So the problem is merge k sorted list. So in this problem, what will be given? Will be given an array of k linked list. So a array will be given and it will have linked lists. Each linked list is its sorted order. So each linked list is sorted. We have to merge all those linked list into one sorted linked list and return it. See, this is an array given and it has these linked list. One four five is a linked list. One three four is a linked list, and two and six is linked list. We have to merge these three linked lists together, and then we need to return the final linked list. This is the problem. See, so this is a linked list. This is a linked list. So we'll write it like this. Line three. So this is given to us. Just a second. Here, like this is the input which is given to us. Right. Now this means that one, four, five. This is a linked list. Then one, three, and four. This is a linked list. Two, six. This is a linked list. All right. We have to merge these linked list. Merging means we have to merge them. So All the elements will be in sorted order in the final linked list. So that is one. There are two ones. Then two, two will come from this linked list. Then three will come from this linked list. And four, there are two fours. So four and four, and then five, and then six. So this will be the merge final merged linked list. Merged, merged, sorted. Merge means all the elements of those linked list together and sorted. These are sorted order, in sorted order. Merge sorted linked list, right? So see, this is the output. We have to return the sort one sorted linked list. So this is the output, right? I hope you understood the approach. Uh, like uh, I hope you understood the problem. Let's see how we can approach this problem. So there are many approaches for this. We will discuss three approaches. So for the first two uh, like approaches, we'll be discussing the approach only, and for the last approach, we'll see the code. See, so this is the output, right? We have to see, we have to combine all these, all the elements of these linked list. We have to, we have to combine, and then we have to just sort them, right? So th see, what what you can do? We sorting is coming, na? Sort sorting is coming. so you can think of using the sort function you can use of thinking the sort function and sort function is on what a vector so what you can do is you can traverse this linked list like first linked list traverse store the elements in a vector then traverse the second linked list store the elements in the vector and then traverse the third linked list and store the elements in the vector now just do one thing just sort this vector so now this vector will become what 1 1 2 3 4 4 5 so this will be sorted so once a vector is sorted now you just need to make a new linked list you have to create a new linked list which will have all these nodes one node one so these this will be the output then just need to convert this vector into linked list you have to create a linked list so this was one approach this was one approach so what will be the time complexity for this what we are doing we are store we are traversing all the linked lists storing them in a vector sorting them and then making a linked list so making a linked list is o of n time traversing these linked lists will be you can say uh, we have to go to each linked list na so if there are k linked list and the, the length of the link list is n so kn will be the time for that because we need to go to each link list and we need to add the values then we need to go to the second so there will be for loop and then for traversal in the link list there will be a while loop so this will be the complexity and sorting will be o of n log n so time complexity for this approach is o of kn right because we like maximum is this one 
or if we say like how many linked list could be there if you see the constraints k will be 10 raised to the power 4 right so it will be a bigger it is a bigger value now space complexity will be what space complexity we are taking a vector so it will be o of n o of n where n is c n is what total all the total nodes all the total elements in all the linked list so this is one approach right this is one approach and we can see like this is not efficient approach other approach which we can use is is c yeah, we have to merge all the linked list we have to merge all the sorted um, merge k sorted linked list see the question is merge k sorted linked list so we are we are given this k we will be given k linked list and we need to merge them if you if you have done this problem merge two sorted linked list so you will be able to approach this problem using that if you are not uh, if you are not aware of how to merge two sorted linked list i have made a video on it the link will be in the description so you can check that out first so merge two linked list see first of all we can do what we can merge these two linked list it will give us what it will give us a merge linked list that is 1 comma 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 4 comma 5 it will give us this and then what we can do we can merge this the find this final one the merged one with the this one so then it will give us 1 comma 1 comma here 2 will come then 3 4 4 and then 5 comma 6 so this is one way of solving this problem that is we can use the concept of merge two sorted linked list and every time we will be picking two linked list and we will be merging them this is what we are doing we will merge these together then the final then the merged one we will merge it with this one right so for time this also time complexity will be quadratic in quadratic so see <clears throat> merging merging two sorted linked list will be o of n time and how many linked list are there there are k linked list so for every th every time we have to do for that so it will be k n time complexity k n right and the space complexity will be o of uh space complexity will be we are uh, will be creating this na this one we will be creating this so extra space will be required for making this so it will be o of n right so this is the second approach which we can use this is also not efficient now let's see what will be the third approach so this is see we have every every time what we are doing is we are getting the like o k n k n time complexity we are getting so we have to reduce it somehow we have to reduce it so and here the concept of sorting is used now like in the first approach sorting was coming into picture because we have to sort the elements so whenever sorting comes na whenever sorting is there you can think of using heap heap because in heap either we can use min heap so we can get the minimum elements and we can use max heap to get the max elements so what he which heap we will use in this problem what the output should be see output should be 1 comma 1 comma 2 3 4 4 5 6 this should be the output na so we have to get the minimum element first and then we have to get the like we have to go and then the maximum like this so this how we can do this we can do using min heap because min heap will every time will give us the minimum element and we will just make a linked list out of that right so what we will do see we what we will do is we will have this we will have a uh, what we will do is we will have a sorry will we have a min, uh, min heap why am i making this we'll have a min heap we have this min heap we will traverse this linked list we are traversing the linked list so uh, what it will be 
this so all these elements will be stored in the min heap we'll be traversing the linked list one by one because we need to store all these na so these are three approaches of this problem so third approach we are discussing so one one i'm like traversing all the so this will be something like this na uh, so first of all six will be at the bottom then five four four three two one one this will be the min heap so once we have stored all the elements in the min heap what we can do is we just need to make a linked list out of that so we will have a we will create a head and gradually we will make a new linked list node so this one will be the new linked list then like basically we need to make a linked list for this so i hope you know how to create a linked list for so this is how we will create a linked list so o of kn will be the uh, time complexity and space complexity will be o of uh, we are make we are using heap na so o of will be n n is the total elements all the elements of these linked list so uh, guys like as of now we have seen all the approaches which have time complexity kn right its time complexity is kn so this is not optimized approach there is one more approach which is optimized and that time time complexity will be uh n log k so that let's see how we can do that so in that also uh, the last approach which we saw we were using heap and we were storing all the nodes of all these linked list in the heap right so we will be using heap only min heap only for this approach but there's slight difference what we will be doing see we will take a min heap we'll have a min heap we have this min heap but in min, min heap na earlier what we were doing we were storing all these linked list we were storing all these linked list uh, all these values of the linked list na but here in this min heap what we will do we will be storing only the head of the linked list only the head of the each linked list so we will be traversing on this k linked list these are k linked list we will be traversing and we'll be just storing the head of each linked list so min heap will have k elements why because there k linked list so k heads so k elements will be in the link in the min heap earlier there were all the elements all the elements were in the min heap earlier but now only k elements will be there in the min heap so what we will do see what will be added in the min heap one will be added then one will be added this is the one head and then two will be added so these are like addresses like these are addresses these are addresses these like we are not adding the values we are adding the entire linked list node so this is a linked list node right this is a linked list node this is a linked list node after that what we will do we have done this we have inserted the head of the linked list now what we will do is we will be creating a linked list we will pop this element from the min heap we will make a link uh, we will have a new head like new head we will have and we will be adding that we will like we will be creating a linked list right and since now there are two only two here so this one is popped out we will be now inserting its next element so this one was this one now four will be inserted so that is this one's next this one's next will be inserted in the min heap now so now our min heap will be like this one node two node and this four node so every time guys see every time k elements will be there in the min heap we will be popping out the minimum element and its next element in the linked list we will be adding so now what will happen see one is in the linked list now this one is popped out it gets inserted here and this one is next this one's next is what three three is added in the min heap so now our min heap will be what two three four right now again what we will do we will pop this two add it and these this two's next what is this two's next six six will be added in the min heap so six will be added now what will happen three will be popped out because it's minimum and three is next three is next is what four four is added in the min heap all right then what will happen see now this four will be popped out 
now this four you can take this also or this also any one you can take so four will be added here and fours next five will be added here so in this way see every time there are three nodes only in the min heap so every time it has to arrange it has to arrange yet it has to do log k that is this much nodes k nodes every time he like min heap has to arrange na so log k will be that time complexity for that so uh, now what will happen four will be popped out again four will be connected here and this four has no next node see it, there is no next node na so nothing will be inserted here nothing will be inserted here and then again five will be popped out five will be connected and this five also has nothing so nothing will be inserted in the min heap and lastly six will be popped out and our min heap is now empty six will be connected so guys see every time what we are doing is we are uh, popping out from the min heap and uh, every time we when we pop out we add the next node in the min heap so right let's see the code for this let's see the code for this approach i hope you understood this in this now the difference is between this approach and the previous min heap approach that in that pre previous approach we were adding all the elements of all the linked list but here we are just adding the head of the linked list so what we are doing is see we have this function merge k linked list and uh, we are like making this head and uh, this temp so this is the dummy node we created we'll be returning heads next at the end you can the you cannot like if you do not want to make a dummy node you can avoid that then we are taking this temp and initializing it to head and this is a min heap we are creating now min heap see min heap will now have the nodes these were the nodes na these were not the values lastly last approach we were adding the values so but here we are adding the nodes why nodes because we need to access that whatever node is being popped out we need to know its next so that's why we are having the nodes so uh, this is a priority queue node star type and this is my compare function which will compare the nodes on the basis of their values so on the basis of this thing they will get arranged in the min heap we, in the min heap they will get arranged using this property that's why we have passed this compare function all right then what we are doing we are going to each link list each the link list and we are just if the head is not null we are just pushing that head in the priority queue and then we are uh, what we are doing is we are going traversing the priority queue every time we pop the least element least node and we add it in the temps next and we move temp ahead and if the least node which is whichever is popped like here when 2 was popped so its next was 6 we added that in the linked list na in the min heap so if the least node which is the the node which is popped has next like there is a next node after that so we will be adding that next node in the min heap and lastly we will be returning heads next so if you submit this this is getting accepted java code will be in the description same code uh, and uh, Uh, over here see what will be the time complexity every time see uh, we are iterating until the priority queue is not empty so there will be how many elements will come in the priority queue n n elements will be there always uh, n times this loop will run na? because there are n elements because these are n na? so n elements will be there and how much time will be taken by priority queue to every time arrange them will be log k so time complexity will be n log k so for priority queue it's n log k and k why because every time there are k elements only in the priority queue min heap and space complexity will be o of k as we are storing this min heap we have k elements every time na so o of k i hope you understood all the approaches guys very important problem and see we have discussed all the approaches i hope you understood the problem and the approach if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video